Hello and welcome back everyone. Today is January 1st, 2015. The first day of 2015. I am back with you to do your daily tarot reading. I have picked three cards from the Anna K Tarot. I have picked an Angel Tarot card for the overall energies of today. I have picked a Mermaid, uh, not a Mermaid, the Dolphins, <laughs> excuse me, an Angel Therapy card by Doring Virtue to get um, some messages from our spirit guides and angels. I would but first, like to um, take the time to thank each and every one of you who commented and liked the video of yesterday. All of the sweet words that um, all of you guys said really touched my heart, and I really got a lot of positive energy yesterday. Well, yesterday is today because I'm recording <laughs> the reading today, but um, I got a lot of positive energy, and I promise you, my whole day changed. Um, I was even able to um, leave work early and I just, it was just an amazing day. So thank you guys for that. Thank you for sending me that healing energy. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The first card that we have up from the Anna K Tarot is the Eight of Cups upright. And the Eight of Cups depicts this woman who has her belongings on her back and she has her little wooden staff and she's moving forward into um it looks like the woods or the forest or something but she's leaving all of these previous eight cups that um were stacked up and full of emotion as you can see these cups are filled and um there's a couple in the background and there's a foundation and structure in the background that she's really leaving so you're leaving a foundation and structure in your life and i really feel like this is the new year you're leaving back the past um, year behind. You're leaving um, all of the things that you felt like did not fulfill you in um, 2014 or just in your life in general. You're moving away from the things that have um, have not quite fulfilled you. Even though you thought that they would, even though that um, you really put a lot of effort in um, stacking up all of these cups, it just wasn't quite what you thought it was going to be. It wasn't quite something that fulfilled you. So you've packed your things and you're moving off into um, the forest <laughs> to look for something that is um, much more beneficial to, to you. So that's what we're doing at the present moment. We're embarking on our new chapters. Today is the day of our new chapters. It's January 1st, the beginning of the new year, the beginning of... Um, a whole new cycle in your life. So that's what we're doing. We're we're leaving the old behind. We're turning our backs on the old. The things that did not um, fulfill us. The things that um, did not work did not work out the things that just weren't right for us we're turning our backs on those things and we're looking for something more beneficial we're going after the new things in our lives and the things that can take us where we want to be this woman she's independent she's letting go of her insecurities you can also this can these couple behind her can also be symbolic of a person's insecurities and she's letting go of those she's letting go of her old convictions and she's leaving now she's she's um moving forward into her destiny as to what else she can create and it's really telling you to um continue to move forward because once you move forward with um your advancements you're able to create things instead of staying stuck because if she was to stay stuck here in the past and in this old foundation she would be stuck from um you know moving advance or um you know, advancing, whether that be spiritually, materially, or whatever. she If she stayed there, she would be holding herself back from um, advancing in life. So it's really telling you that you're um, embarking on your new beginning. Move forward and know that, um, you know, this is a good thing for you. The new year is a good thing. Different is good. New is good, you know? So, um move move forward next card up from angel tarot is the high priestess reversed okay we had this card before i like this card the high priestess let's just look at it upright depicts this woman who has fear in her lap she's conquered it and it's really a person who's non um 
who doesn't really take action. She's sitting back. She's relaxed. And she's just observing. She's receptive. She's observant. She's patient. She's really um, looking at the cycles of the moon. She's looking at the cycles of the life, the of our lives. The good, the bad, the ugly, you know, of our lives. You're looking back at the, um, the situation that... Um, you're looking back at the old situation that you were dealing with, uh, the old 2014, and you're realizing that, you know, that was just the cycle and you're getting ready for the new cycle. The um, the high priestess in reverse is telling you that you've studied this situation. You've been very observant with um, the energies that are going on in your life and it's telling you that now that the energies are changing, now it's time for you to move forward on the things that you've been working on up in to this point, the things that you have learned, the things that you have studied, if this woman is moving forward into um, action of the things that she's studied. She's taking off because she's learned something. She's um, she's really took the time to observe the energies. She knows um, she knows well. She knows that you know there are good times and there are bad times, and that is an inevitable and it's going to happen but she she's conquered her fear regarding that situation and she's um she's been observing so she has a lot of answers you know so she's she's moving forward with the answers that she's learned that's what you're doing you're moving forward with the answers that you learned into your new beginning so now that you're moving forward in your new beginning it's really telling you to take um, forward, move forward and apply the new things that you have learned to your life in 2015. That is really what this reading is um, screaming out to me. You've um, let go of the things that were not fulfilling you and now it's time to go after the things that are going to fulfill you, the things that you know that are going to fulfill you, the things that you have studied and it's really time to move forward on the things that um, you have studied and the things that um, you have required your knowledge about. Um, move forward with those answers that you have. The high priestess is another person who does not um, um, move forward with the things that they thought about until they know the outcome of the situation. They study the situation, just like the King of Swords. That is the same type of energy. So it's really letting you know that you. it's time for you to move forward with the things that you have studied. Move forward on your path. And don't um, let anything hold you back. Next card up from Anna K. Tarot is Four of Pentacles in Reverse. Let's take a look at Four of Pentacles Upright. As you can see, this man is really stingy looking. Very miserly looking. He has all of this abundance in his hand. He has some in his backpack. He has some um, firewood just in case things go bad. You know, he has all these different things. And these people are out here freezing. Look at this. They're out there cold. They're shivering. They're really in need. And this person is just being, you know, really just selfish and uh, not helping these people. And it's really, this energy is all about worry. It's all about preserving your um, your um, abundance or your finances or whatever you um, deem, um, whatever you deem um, worth something in your life. You're holding it back from other people. But this could also mean that you've been worried about your circumstances. So you've been preserving your circumstances. Either you've been not trying to hold on to it. Maybe you had some worry around your finances. Maybe you didn't quite know how money was going to um, look in your life or how you were going to get some bills paid or you know. It's really that hoarding type of energy when it's upright. <laughs> it's really about holding on to what you have and really seeking that need for security and um, really um, being worried about your finances. And it's a little bit of greed that mixed in there, too. But with it in reverse, it's really letting us know that, you know, you're letting go of the worries that you had around uh, around your finances and um um, you know, that, that need of security that you've had, that need of security is starting to fall away now. You know, um, maybe money has come to you recently, but it's really letting you know, but that the worry that you had around your finances is starting to fall away. And it's really telling you that it's a, that you're, um, it's okay to share your finances with other people. It's okay to share your abundance with other people who may be around you who are um, down and out at the present moment. If you can help someone and it's not going to affect you too much, 
um, because as you can see, this person has a lot of abundance. If it's not going to, if it's not going to hurt you, um, you know, help these people, help the people that are around you in your life at the present moment. So really, we're going to recap the reading. It's really telling you to let go of the old, let go of the old 2014, let go of the old, whatever that is not for you and you know that it's not for you move forward let go it's something that is um, much more enriching for you you're moving into the high priestess reverse the high priestess reverse energy is a person who's very observant who does not move forward and, um, unless they um, know the outcome of a situation so it's telling you to move forward with the things that you've learned up into this point um, uh, apply those things to your life path and know that your worries around your finances are, are going to fall away that um, worry type of um, miserly type of um, you know holding your finances or trying to preserve your finances because you don't know you know what things are going to look like that worry that surrounds that is going to fall away so it's really telling you that you're going to have some financial abundance to move forward into the things that um, that um, are right for you that you've um, been working on because it's going to relieve your worries with your finances next card up is king of earth and it says generous professional responsible and practical a successful time confidently accept opportunities you're offered in the Midas touch i love this freaking card this person is very financially abundant he's um pretty much the richest person in, in the deck but it's it's telling you to be generous once again that's uh, um another thing that's standing out to me be generous with the people that are around you if you can help them out help them out it's tell, telling you to make good decisions for yourself be practical be responsible be professional it's also talking about um accepting opportunities that may, may be available um the king of earth um really he makes good decisions about um you know getting to where he needs to be and in acquiring that type of um financial stability so if you have some um if you have some um decisions that you need to make around your finances go, today is a good day to make those um those decisions but it's really telling you that um today is really a time of you having the Midas touch and the Midas touch is about uh, everything that you um wanting turning to gold or the everything that you're touching turning to gold so it's really telling you that special energy surrounds you in this moment and you're able to really create what you want to create in this moment um this is the beginning of the year so it's really um the energy magnified on, on this day so it's really letting you know that 2015 is a year that you can create the things that you want the eight year is all about empowerment anyway so be empowered in yourself know that you can create the type of financial stability in your life that you want but you need to move away from the things that um did not help you or the things that did not um seem to work out the way that you thought they would or the things that are not benefiting you and move forward with the answers that you have in your life that you already know that um that you've been working on because they're going to lead you to uh um a great place and the last card that we have is listen to your intuitive feelings it's just your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine this is letting you know that the messages that you've been getting whether it be number sequences or um, just your thought messages or just your intuition or you know different coincidences that you see is really letting you know that you know the messages and the plans that you have are accurate the things that you feel like you are receiving from spirit are accurate Accurate. So move forward with the path that you're on because we already know that the angels are guiding us. And so it's just, they're just, this is just further confirmation that the angels are with you and guiding you on your path through 2015. And to know that the messages that they are sending you are, um, are correct. So receive them and apply them to your lives. Okay, guys, I hope that you have the most amazing 2015 ever. And I'll be back with you tomorrow. Bye.